everybody. It's the program. I'm uh, MC Rick, and we'll be here for the hour. Let's rise to sing our national anthem. Oh, say can you Thing's not going anywhere. Oh, is it because of this? Here it is. I'm just trying to do this. Oh, it's Saturday! It's Saturday! Alright. Uh, we made it through another day and week, and now we're back here. I guess if I've made it back here under the program, I've made it through something. Left and come back. Who's returning? Who's marathoning? Did you just see yesterday's episode and now seeing today's episode? And then tomorrow's episode? How many are you in? Are you 2,443 in? If you are, thank you for these last 2,443 hours. Haven't they been a doozy? Here's what I'm gonna do today. Yeah, I'm thinking about like what am I gonna do? I'm like, what am I gonna do today again? But maybe you should say instead of like what? What am I gonna do? I say here's what I'm going to do today. I'm not posing questions and answering them anymore. I'm just saying the things. Here's what we're going to do today. Every time I have a question. So can you rephrase your question in a form of a phrase? So you can do, and I guess that's like Jeopardy, but like the question is, what this here is what I'm going to do today, because I'm it's it's a it's a question at yourself. I'm gonna say like I'm like, what's the difference between a thing? I'm just trying to think of like baby. Oh yeah, baby corn. You know baby corn. It, like, like the question about is baby corn baby like corn that is young like regular size corn but it's just young corn or is it its own thing and they just call it baby corn because it kind of looks like regular corn or it's like somehow like a cousin and that's the question like what which one is which but I just say people don't seem to know no they I don't know they're all <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm at the end of these things I'm getting back to another question So questions are okay, if they're not kind of leading the statements. But anyway, here's what we're going to do today. We're going to look at the phones. We're going to check out some tapes. We're going to have some ideas and some thoughts. And I kind of had already those. I'm going to eat some food. I'm pretty hungry. So maybe I'll open this up. We can still get to the phones and start giving me some food time. Who owes? Oh, the food is liquidy. 
Oh, a little. What kind of? What kind of liquid is this? Okay. Oh. Where? Well. No fork, but I have a fork from another thing, so that's worked out. <laughs> I started eating. I said I told myself and you that I was going to go to the phones first before I started, but I, I didn't. So here's the messages. Looks like we got a good amount. People waking up on a fri on Fridays, maybe. Or not. Maybe not. Oh, some somewhat of a good amount. Here's. Is this one? Uh, message play. Hey, program. This is Freddie. I'm returning your call from yesterday, I guess, because probably you're not going to listen to this message until then. But um, yeah, Mr. Call calling you back. I don't make it in time, but the production end is going real good, and uh, yeah, um, going good. Yeah. Hey, give me a call back today. It's probably Saturday now. Yeah. Hope you're having a good Saturday. So Grab far, I am. How are you? Going good. Keep on moving through time. Bye-bye. All right, let's call Freddie back, the producer. I don't know how the production end is going. There we go. Hey, you look pretty dober. I can come to the phone right now, but if you hey, leave me a nice Richard message, Freddy Dober. I'll call you back I can't come to the phone right now, but wow. if you leave me a nice message, then I will call you back as soon as I can. Thank you a lot. Well, thank you, Freddy. What a nice message. You left us a nice message, and we're leaving back to messages uh, back and forth. What are you doing? Where's um, the status of production then? Is, is the status of production <laughs> is where? That's still a question. If you just because you put the where at the end, is if you have you just have where or whatever is these question words in the in the something in the question you need the question words though, right? Not in a question like that, huh? Yeah. Correct, but well, that's just like... Those are just no questions only if you want to pull around for your kid, huh? Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. 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 It's a um, yellow fellow leaving a message from this afternoon.
Hello. 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 Maybe we should um look at uh what happened last year. Record a message of the past. To the future anyway. And then we can turn on the Magnolia tape from Mongolia. And we'll call yell if the uh, wall Mong Mongolia is happening. So I guess here's messages to the future first. Let's do this one. It's the one I grabbed. Yeah, I see the other one that I'm looking forward to. Where is it? Oh, is it this? Uh-oh, uh-oh. It's not your fault. Oh. Freddy's calling us back. Hello? Oh. oh. Hello? Hello? Hey, program. It's me, Freddy. Hey, hey Freddy. How are you? Doing good. Uh, I am over at uh, my friend's house at Chez Puget, and um, they got a lot of blackberries. I'm chopping them down with a machete right now. Oh. Huh. Yeah, it's pretty fun. It's like a form of interview. How's your I even uh, managed to, like, Tom Sawyer trick somebody into doing it for a while, you know? Oh, like, yeah, it's so fun. I mean, I actually am doing it for fun, but they were like, hey, you're doing the machete? Like, let me do that, too. Maybe they Can I try? Maybe the house Tom Sawyer you into doing it in the first place. Yeah, I don't know. They didn't ask me to. I think. I that, just, uh, oh yeah, I think the 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 like at the end of the thing you maybe you could take away from that Tom Sawyer thing is that if you have a good attitude, then things are just fun. The what? If you if you think things are fun. Oh yeah, you have to make your own fun, right? They're fun. Yeah, you yeah. can make your own fun. It's is like that the yeah that's yeah. The you say you're fun. You're having fun. And then you are. Yeah, I'm definitely having fun. But um, yeah, that's actually how most of the time I think I'm having fun. Are you swinging? Are you are you swinging with one hand and talking with the other? Yes, I am. Yeah, I don't have like a Bluetooth or anything. Yeah. <laughs> are, are, did you ca catch a a barb or a what do you call those things? Like a one of the the like pokey things. A thorn. The, yeah. Uh, not really. Um. I did accidentally like chop it and then fling it up into the sky, mm -hmm. and then uh, it landed on my head. Oh. That kind of sucked. Uh, but mostly it's been pretty good. Just sort of chopping away, no problem. You hit your sharp, sharp end on the head. Yeah, I had to fling it off my head, but it was—it didn't actually like stick with me too bad. Usually, your knuckles get the worst of it while you're doing this kind of work. Yeah. Or should I say, this kind of fun? Yeah. Uh, have you ever been yeah. to Have you ever been to Mongolia? Where's Magnolia? Mm. Mongolia. Oh, Mongolia? Mm -hmm, no. Mm -hmm. I think that it's an island um, off of China. Is that even like a really? I thought that was like an ancient empire. Is that like real still? Um, it was in, when that guy that guy went there. And, oh, and I don't know the year. Oh, but you're watching the tape. How are the tapes? He went to Mongolia, yeah. and that was like at least the '80s, if not the earlier. No, they, like I think a, they had digital cameras. Sixteen nine. It was like sixteen nine video format, so it had to be like the '80s or the '90s or so. I think this one is from like 2001. Why on earth would they put it onto a VHS? I guess. 2001 was still VHS. Really? V oh, that's right. Yeah, that's true. VHS didn't go away too. Two thousand. Two thousand has like the the future feel. Like once we hit two thousand, everything felt like the future. I wonder if that happened like in nineteen ninety. You know, no, nineteen hundred. I guess I should say. Uh, during oh, during the industrial revolution. They're like, holy shit, we're in the fucking future. It probably They're did like, because like, I think. 19 or 1900 was like the industrial revolution and 2000 is probably oh, yeah. about the digital revolution that's right so now we're digital and uh in in the 1900s they were um, 
natural or something? They like yeah, more like a hand to mouth kind of, you know, like yeah, struggle, more struggle to survive. Yeah, and now now then then they were struggle to be entertained because right because of the industrial revolution. It's so much time to more time to do things, and then now we've solved that. We fixed it. We actually have more television happening right now than people could possibly watch in their lifetime. Yeah. Like, that's one thing. You know, people sometimes rewatch the same shows over and over again, but do they realize that they could never see everything? Yeah. That's like a, that's a fear of mine, you know? It sucks. You can't actually know the uh, entire breadth of pop culture unless you get someone to, like, summarize everything for you. Mm, yeah, but you can still know more of it than ever before. Yeah, for sure. You know, say the thing about, um, like, a person who doesn't read a book only lives one life, uh -huh. but a person who reads books, like, lives, like, thousands of lives or whatever? Yeah. I think TV makes us, like, all live, like, so infinitely many more lives. Yeah, more than books. Yeah, I think so. Um, what's you get, like, a new, you get a new life a week. Mm, yeah. With TV. Well, what's going to be the, uh, the, uh... The revolution of 3,000, or not 3,000, I guess 2,100? 2,100? Or, yeah, the year 2,100. Yeah, see, that doesn't even seem as big as, like, 2,000 does, you know? 2,000, I think, this is the big one. Yeah. 2,100 is going to feel weird, but, I guess, you know, maybe with the right advances in science, you and I can be a part of that, can he? Yeah, when we live in the computer and through the thing. Maybe marathoners, are you watching? What year is it? <laughs> what year is it, future? We're, we're hey, future. We're living in the future through this tape. Have you uh, asked the future that yet? What year it is? <laughs> what year is it? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I have. I, I could start. So, when are you? Then, you can, then every time you watch it, you can say 2017 until, I don't know, pretty soon you'll be saying, like, oh, it's 2020 or... It's twenty twenty six. Yeah. Um, how's the how's the production end going? We're uh, we're all set through the weekend. Got to get, you know, uh, some stuff transferred from one hard drive to another. But um, yeah, it's. I really wish we would have done it this way. The way we're doing it now, I wish we would have done it this way for a long time. It's like effortless. What? It's what, going really well. What is it? What's the change? Um, I you know. It might be the whole commercial thing, you know. I I was like never wanted to get rid of the commercial, but now that we did, my life is easier. Mhm. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, it's like all I have to do is just like put everything through compressor, and uh, it's done. It's, oh yeah, it's that's really great. that's the way I was saying to do it for forever. I know you were. Uh -huh, and then we did it. Yeah. Now we finally did it. I finally, I finally listened to you, and uh, it was the right way. Good. I'm glad. Um, but, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah. Well, that's that's good though. It's like before you had a day delay, right? You had to wait a day. Yeah, I had to wait a day. But now, I mean, we we could we could really be up to date. I mean, if we were, you know, it's still not feasible to do um, day of on TV. Oh <laughs> no no no. That's too much. Yeah. And it's, like, more feasible to do YouTube, but it's still kind of, like, stupid. Like, why would we do that? No, if it's working, so, I think it's like, oh, everything's working. We better do another thing. Right. We finally found peace and, like, the perfect balance. Yeah. Let's figure out how that's, to change it. <laughs> that, that's like, um, you know, have you heard, like, the thing where people get jobs and then they keep getting hired and hi higher and higher in their workplace until... They are barely bad. I think like I've seen that happen. And then they can barely yeah, they can I, I barely like do their job. Even in my own life. And if it's like they would yeah. be they would be really good at one job below. But like yeah, one or maybe two jobs below. Yeah, they must have been good at the job below because they got promoted. But eventually, like jobs don't stay constant that way. You're not doing the same thing in some kind of like promoted state. You're it's, but it's actually like, like where doing are you, a different job. Where you, you level promoted. out? Where you level out is the place where you're decent. Right. Where so, you're not quite good enough, but you're not bad enough to get fired. Yeah. So nobody. It's like all all these places, 
everybody there, nobody's good, real good, really good. It like, it, it, yeah, yeah. People who really like what they're doing and are good at it can uh, refuse the promotion. I mean, there's nothing that stops you from doing that. So for maybe uh, financial incentives. There definitely is financial incentive, but you know, maybe some people are motivated by um, something other than financial incentive. Could be. I mean, I would hope that's uh, true. I guess sometimes. Uh, this is like the workplace, though. Where yeah. You're, where you're, where you're. Uh... The workplace is like kind of guided towards financial incentive. In fact, it's like pretty much the guiding principle of the workplace. Yeah, it's, this is a place where you're. You're 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 not like trying to live for for yourself. You're you're trying to put on a suit and and raise your capital, raise capital. The word work, the word work itself usually means like you wouldn't do this unless there was some other reason, like someone's forcing you to, or you're like got some kind of financial incentive, or yeah. like if you don't do it, like you know maybe you'll starve or something like for early work. Like uh, food yeah. cooking. Oh yeah, yeah. Raising capital. That's what they wanna. Yeah. Well, that's pretty good. I'm gonna I'm gonna get back to my. This is like some work I'm doing for fun. It's not work. But some people would think it's work. Not work to me. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna chop some more blackberries down. Thank program. you. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Uh, <laughs> Freddy's dropping blackberries. Wait, I got this one queued up. Right now, I forgot. I did. All right. Here we go. Going back down here and gonna re record this message. To the future, say, a future, it's us the past. Or, yes. A future, it's us the past. How are you? Thank you. I'm also doing good. What year is it? Oh, that sounds like a good year to me. Yeah, I'm doing this thing. I'm like talking to you back and forth. You know what's happening because maybe you're responding if you remember what's going on. Remember when times were easy and you didn't have like cybernetic arms, and now you do, and the you know sometimes the government controls your arms when you're trying to jaywalk. Okay, bye. I just want to jaywalk arms. Your arms grab your legs, citizen. This is not the government. This is your arms, and your arm and your arms think that this is not a good idea. Think about the think about the law. What about the law, uh, self? I am your arms, and I am not the government. I am not. I am your robot arm. I'm, your robot arms are just like regular arms that you have that you control regularly, and they are not sometimes controlled by the government. Maybe you're like, why are my arms moving? But the answer is because that's what you want to do subconsciously and your arms are just thinking and helping. Uh, let's look at this thing. This is the one we went into outside. This is the season premiere so we could watch the entire season. I think this is... Oh yeah, the season ends with the high five. Oh, where's the sound? Um, oh, thank you for being alive. Just keep being you. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Doing. Doing. One more time. One. Okay. I'm just. It's like right here. One, two, three. High five. All right. What's this next thing? Outside. Hey, Bobby. What's happening now? Yeah. Uh, how far am I hey, go? future. I passed. It's uh, us, the past. I passed. The season premiere today. Getting a season 25 for us. We do a little walk around the block. Um, What's happening back there? Like can you the still future? can you still walk? You still I can. Have, I can yeah, walk. You still, do you need, need to walk anymore? Or are you flying? 
I prefer when to was walk. The last time you guys did like a walking around episode. Look, so busy. That's what it looks Not like. A lot of things. Everybody's so busy. It's nice here in the past. Everything is calm and and not so complicated. Remember that? It was a nice time. It's a nice cherish, time to be here. Cherish, cherish the future. Don't uh, forget about us. Bye. Mm. Right. It's just the past, future. Hey, it's the past. Do you guys have desires in the future? Have you lost all desire to do anything? Oh, 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 I had to wait. Oh, I got shot. Okay, bye, future. Bye. Are you okay? Did you get shot? Uh, hey, future. Hey, hey past. It's us. Hey. The <laughs> it's, it's us, the past. Hey, past. Hello, we're past. No, we're, t we're saying hello to the future. Oh, hello, future. We're future. the past. We're the past. You're the future. High What's power. it like? How are, how are your bones? Back here, my bones feel really good. Are you aging well? Yeah. Uh, tell us about it. I, okay? yeah. Yeah? I, bet, I bet I'm going to feel better. I do not. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Hi, future. Hi, past. Hello to the future. It's us, the past. Yeah. How are you in the future? Real good. Thank you. How are you? I was uh, dying off, probably. <laughs> Are you dead yet? Remember how how you feel and how it's nice to have your bones work? So. I wish my bones work. Uh, all right. Okay, bye. Good job. Bye. How, we're, how, we're much saying, uh, how much is your power bill? That's private. Uh, I have it included. Hi, future. It's us in the past. How much is That's private. Including what? Included in other things. I don't pay it. Uh, how much is, and how much is the other thing? Hi, future. It's us, the past. I'm dodging. This is on the phone. We're saying hi to the future, Mr. Gensu. I think it's a gauche. Mr. Future. Say hi to the future. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Future. Mr. Future. Oh, you're Mr. Gensu. What the fuck are you doing? It's Saturday. It's always sitting on the couch. Yep. Yeah. Okay, bye, future. Bye. That's the past. How's your bones? How's your back? What's like in the future? What kind of technology you have in the future? All these questions and things like that. Today we're going to try to go back and watch those other ones. Remember that? we watch the other tapes. Uh, look, at, look at last year. Remember last year? Oh, last year we got to look at that one again. Bye, future. Bye. Hey, future. I passed. How are How you? How are you? Oh, real good. Thank you. How are you? Oh, I'm doing real good. Also, thanks for asking. Oh, my pleasure. It's us, the past. I passed. I said that a little second ago, but remember when we watched all those videos from you and yesterday? Oh, and we've been doing past? it. And then we caught up all those tapes that were like right before we watched them again. And then we watched them again. How many times are we going to do that? Oh, yeah. So like in the future. I was going to try to do that a bunch of times. Blah, 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 you having technology? I still could, I guess. You know, all that stuff you keep saying on me. Bye. Bye. Maybe I could soon. Future. It's broken. How are you? Real good. Yeah. Thank you. How are you? Oh, real good. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. Hey. My pleasure. You future. I, have you... Uh, How's your parking situation? Is it safe? It's safe. It's uh, Tuesday. This day. Hey, Tuesday. Hi. Hi. How are you? Oh, I. <laughs> hey, yeah. How are you? How are you? How are you? Tuesday, Wednesday. Hey, my name's uh, Nicholas Parsons. Hey, future. It's us. Oh, the birds back again. Okay. Birds right. back for day two. Hello. It's Wednesday today. We talk about uh, the FBI a little bit. Uh, yeah. the, LFL's doing, the LFL's doing laundry. What about the FBI? Yeah, yeah doing that. Doing laundry. Okay, bye. Bye. Hey, future, it's us, the past. Remember when we were looking at this, uh, Mongolia? Stuff from the, uh, from Mongolia? Yeah, Mongolia. 
Was that it's, yesterday? Oh, they're right here. This little lady's oh, running a reindeer. Yeah. All right. Look at that. We've been it's looking at Mongolia dark. for two days now. <laughs> Thursday. Now we're going to spend an hour or so riding on a yak cart. <laughs> Thursday. Go right ahead. You're part of it. <laughs> All right. That was Thursday. Next is Friday. This is yesterday. The past. Oh, hi, Look past. Mongolia. Magnolia. Mongolia. Hey! <laughs> Uh, it's um, it's this day, Friday, Friday. We're gonna be there on Tuesday, in three days, three or four days. Put on the schedule, we'll see if that happens. Bye. Bye. Right. Just for the pass. I pass. How are you? Oh, real good. How are you? Thank you. Yeah. I'm also doing good. What year thanks is it? it? Thanks for asking. It's 2017. Oh, that sounds like a good year to me. Oh, it is. Yeah, Thank I'm doing you. This thing. I'm like talking to you back and forth. You know what's happening because maybe you're responding if you remember what's going on. Uh, you're right. This remember time. when times were easy and you didn't have like cybernetic arms? Oh man, they're and really bringing me down. And then sometimes the government controls your arms when you're trying to jaywalk. I wish they could do that. Bye. I wish my cybernetic arms listened to me and didn't try to control me when I jaywalked. I have a feeling that might be the government. Is that all the phone stuff? Oh, we're going to call Yellowfellow, but we didn't look at all the video stuff. I didn't think what I decided was I was going to do all the video stuff and then put on the Mag Mongolia video and then ooh, that would be that would be what we did. That was the decision, I believe, that that I came to. So this is last year. It's the today's the twenty seventh. So we look at the thing. That's this one. Go back a little bit. Oh yeah, with the colors. Uh, uh, what's it called? Calcium magnesium and zinc. What's it mean? Thanks, you knocked a hole in the fucking hole with fucking dirt. Yeah? Threw my, like, threw my shit on top of it after I cut the bottom out of a bucket and fucking now I got fucking so much room. I got ten inches extra fucking twelve inches extra grow space. Paul doesn't like to drink out of a mug. Sounds fabulous. Carl, drink it up a mug. Okay. Carl's uncomfortable with mugs. Uh, Come on, Carl. Yeah. Shut the fuck up, Carl. Thanks. Get it together. Bye. Mugs are fun. Bye. 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 Okay. Now, oh. Um. Mongolia. Here it is. We're gonna start this Mongolia tape up and then we're gonna call Yellowfell, I guess, while the tape's going. We should we call him before? Now I'm thinking we should call him before because I wanna listen to what that guy has to say. Why are we listening to what I said? Are you looking forward to something? I don't know if I'm. Am, am I. You're like, this is not what we should do. I can't. Uh, maybe eventually I'll be able to hear the viewers. Like, what do you. What do you say in viewers? I can't right now. Alright. Yellow fellow, here it goes. It's like probably around midnight where a yellow fellow is right now. What are you doing out there, yellow fellow? Hello. Hi. It's the program. Hi. We're on TV. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Real good. Thank you. Was that Oprah? Is that Oprah? Sounds like Oprah. you're doing Oprah. No, I was trying to do the Agent Cooper hello thing that he was doing when he was winning all the jackpots. Oh, yeah. Hello. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, hello. Oh, that, yeah. Full, full of moments. I, I watched that. I, I really did like that. It's, that was it just makes no sense, and it was so fun. Hello. Well, good to see. That's my brother. I uh, hate Twin Peaks, but you know, that's his complaint. He you know, doesn't mean anything. 
Did you know? Did you see the guy that originally said hello? I think it was Dr. Jacoby. No, I don't think so. No. No, Dr. Jacoby was uh, was uh, um, he was like he was spray painting the shovels. Oh, okay. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. some random guy. He uh, your your brother hates Twin Peaks. He liked the first season. Um, I don't know. He needs to give it more of a shot. He's a very like practical guy. He doesn't like it when things are don't make sense. What, I don't know. What day is that on? Uh, every Sunday. But the new. I mean, you've seen all four, though, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. The the next one, episode five, is not till June fourth, I believe. June fourth. Oh wow! It'll be a while. Yeah, that's where we yeah. are. We're in the Northwest, so if uh, the if you ever thought about it like that. Oh yeah, you're lucky. We're practically it's practically like Twin Peaks here where we live. What's the name of the town that it's actually filmed in? Uh, Snoqualmie, I think. Oh. Okay. At least the the waterfall is in Snoqualmie. Have you ever been up there? Yeah, I saw that waterfall. It's really awesome. It looks like the mo or the show. Oh no! Nice. Like you can kind of go stand at where they shot it from and and see the mm -hmm. and see it, and it's it looks like it does on the, right on the show. It's really uh, nice and powerful. I like the way they it's it's soothing, but it has so much power at the same time. Mm-hmm. You know, it's. Can see why David Lynch would like that. Nightmares. No, I said you can see why he would like that location. Yeah, 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 it's but, nice. Um, what was I going to say? Is there any, you got anyone on the show today? No. Nope. Solo. Solo, solo shows. shows. It's been mostly oh. solo shows these days for the for a while. Even before uh, before Carl was coming on often, I almost always have, was booking people. Mm -hmm. And now right, I've been... Yeah, no, you've mentioned... Now I've kind of given up on booking people, and in a way I have. Mm -hmm. But they can, you can still book if you want to come on the show. You can, but nobody was doing that, and I kept saying that, and so nobody was doing it themselves. And now it's been mostly solo shows, like oh, I see. a majority, which uh, is fine with but me. But you said you're alright with that, right? What? But you're okay with that, right? I'm okay with that. Yes, I am. If I wasn't okay yeah. with it, hopefully I would try to do something about it. No, I'm having yeah. I'm I'm having fun reflecting. Yeah, that must be nice. Yeah. And it's just like you're recording a podcast or something. No, well then, yeah, I don't like to use that word, but yeah, I mean, I know the show's not a podcast. Yeah. yeah. We're not even on that service. Well, I guess I think we had a couple of things on there, but I don't. Do you use what that service? Serv the the uh, this, I don't want to talk about it. Um, what are you doing? Um, oh, I don't know. I'm probably going to go to bed soon. What time uh, What time is it there? Yeah. It's like, let me see, 12.30. You're living, in, out. you're living in that hotel kind of deal? Yeah, Air, Airbnb thing. How much laundry did you do today? Holy shit, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm getting close out of the dryer. Uh, a lot of fucking laundry. Did, did um, you, yeah. Yeah. No, because their other washers have broke apparently, so they just brought a bunch of shit here. <laughs> you have to do everybody's well, laundry. They have. Is it? Yeah. Are you cycling or is it mostly yeah. waiting? Um, it's a lot of waiting. Yeah. And, and that's and but that's where you. Pulling. But that's where you live, so that's like your. So you don't get paid for that. It's just like you just get a place to live. Right, but it's getting to the point. Where I was thinking, like, wow, they're really doing me a favor here by letting me stay here. But I don't know, like, the work, the amount of work I'm ending up doing. I almost think I would need to get paid for how much effort I put into doing this laundry. I don't know. Yeah. Because there's a lot. But you don't have to do that much, and then you're hanging out. It's like if you have your, if you have, like, maybe you can bring, like, a video game or a phone down there to the laundry room, and then it's practically like you're just watching TV, right? Yeah, no, that's true. No, I end up listening yeah. You you don't like the term podcast even for podcasts? I wish they didn't call it that. Or, I, I, I I I yeah. Why does it bother you? Because it's like brand specific, and it's like if if like VHS tapes were called Sony tapes. 
We're called what instead? S like Sony or something. Oh, okay. You I know? guess I can see that. Like, why? It's like, why are internet, like, radio shows, audio shows called something that's, like, submarketed in, like, a company based mm. thing? And, like, I'm going to be, like, maybe we can call it, I can call the show a Microsoft cast. <laughs> Microsoft what? Cast. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Wait, yeah. what's the company though? I don't get it. Apple. Oh, that's just an Apple term, podcast. Uh, yeah, podcast. Well, it was originally. It's like iPods, you know. Oh. And then, then they started Is doing. I didn't think. I haven't thought about that at all. It was. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, maybe maybe people don't think about it, but I, th I guess I think about it. It's like uh, Apple made the iPods, and then people started doing those this, those radio programs, but they put them on on there. But Apple named them podcasts. But really, they're just you mm -hmm. know internet, internet radio programming, or this is even mm -hmm. a uh, this is actually a public access television show predominantly, for me. Mm -hmm. Local mm -hmm. here in yeah. Thurston County. I mean, no, I would never. Heard, I would. I never called this show a podcast. Yeah, but yeah. uh, it they, they, all those other people who do the podcasts, and I listen to those things, but I just don't call them. I just try not to call them podcasts, and when they when they say the word, I try to to block it out. I guess. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. I really thought about it. How yeah. far into the show are you? Uh, we have about 16 minutes left. Have you ever been to Mongolia before? No, I haven't been off the East Coast. Uh, I've never left the West Coast. Yeah. Yeah. We got this. Um, well, I'll have to... hmm? We got this tape from Mongolia. We got somebody donated us a bunch of home movies, and this home movie is in the Mongolia. Home, a bunch of home movies? Yeah. Oh, that's kind of weird, isn't it? That seems like extremely, like it would be extremely personal stuff, it's, you know? It's personal. It's like this guy walking around Mon Mongolia, but I think he might be dead. He's an old guy. And this tape's from like 2000, mm -hmm. and he's like walking around like narrating his vacation. That would be kind of fascinating, I think, though. Well, it's, we're, we're watching them. You can, like, watch, you can watch it on the, on the YouTube in like two weeks. Oh, what's it called? Uh, How are you going to be putting them on your channel? No, we're putting them on... We're, I'm, I'm watching them here on the show. Oh, okay. So Holy shit, they got first season of Kirby Enthusiasm. On, on Amazon? No, in the basement. Oh, on DVD? Um, yeah, I oh. love this show. It's on Amazon Prime already. I have the Amazon Prime. Oh, you like that show? Yeah, I, I like that show. I've seen them. There's, I think I heard that they're making a new one soon. Yeah, they are. I, I'm hoping it's good, because I wasn't too crazy about the last season. Season eight. I thought it yeah, was. I thought it was um, like it's on par. I don't know. It felt a little off to me, and maybe that's possibly because that was the first time he, he didn't write everything by himself. Oh yeah. Uh, they were like other writers. I didn't know he had other uh, writers. I don't know what they're gonna do about this yeah. one. Yeah. But no, I mean I still liked it. it just. To me, it felt slight, like very slightly lower in quality, but that could just be me. Maybe. Um, but yeah, I, I'm very excited. He, Larry David, is. Uh, I don't know. I hope I look like him when I'm 70. He looks pretty healthy for a 70 year old. He looked. He he looked like he was 70 since he started the show. <laughs> but I don't know. He's still. I know he's got like white hair balding and everything but he's still I don't know he still looks healthy to me though he looks healthy but it know. looks like he hasn't like, aged he hasn't aged the whole course of the show because he looked old when he was young <laughs> yeah no, that's true oh man I don't know I uh I might have to say farewell though I'm getting sleepy alright go to bed alright talk to you don't later don't dream of laundry okay bye bye uh, yeah it was yellow fellow everybody um I think that's all the messages that we got. I kind of want to call John Webster, but I do also want to look at this Mongolia tape for a little bit, but maybe we'll see if John Webster even answers the phone. There's always days. We have plenty of tapes. Here it goes. John Webster. Here it goes. Hello. Uh, I thought he was doing Oprah. Um, all right. Here's John Webster.
John Webster, you're going to answer the phone? Where are you? Who are you? <laughs> hey, John, where are you? Who are you? I have two questions for you. Where are you? Your call has Who been forwarded you? to an automatic voice message system. Three. Job, six, job, job, zero, John Webster! Four, five, nine. Is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. John, it's the program. I don't think you listen to your voicemails. And if you do, <laughs> was it lo the lonely wife calls on the telephone 4426-4533, John, that's the code. Have you been to Mongolia before, John? I've never been there before this. Now I feel like I've been here. Right, in the okay. 2000 this is the mother daughter and you have two so. if you are satisfied with your message press 1 to listen to your message press 2 to erase and message review John it's the program lady here I don't think you listen to your voice now just lost your husband if you do well we're out in the middle of nowhere if you are satisfied with your message press one to listen to I'm satisfied to erase to send your message now press Two pound to specify there. urgent priority thank you Other your message has been sent also goodbye watching. and on the back side of this truck there's another bunch of horses the wind is blowing like crazy horse trucks dinosaur uh, area and this is a Gur camp that's there. We were supposed to stay in this one but it didn't work out. Village that's out here in the desert. There's a source of water here. And you know, guys, there'll be a BP uh, camel. BP camel family, family, they take care of these children, those children. The, oh, yeah, move on this. A lot of erosion, too, isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? Yeah. All of a sudden, here you are. 900 million miles from nowhere, and a damn little village pops up. <laughs> Desert. They live in the desert. George? They're filling up the vehicles that are coming in, and we're waiting to get gassed up. And collection of locals, a lot of the kids, something mm. to do, I suppose, so they come up here. Another gas station over there. Buildings probably put in by the Russians when they were here. Russian girl. They exploited every bit of the country. The Russians. Well, they're getting ready to take a Polaroid picture. They're all. Uh, they're doing hand uh, hand signs. <laughs> like all kids. Well, there's a family movie. Nomadics moving to a new location. They got all of their equipment on board that trailer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
got two tanks on each of these buses. The pumps, one is electric, one is manual. Gas pump. Probably in case the power goes out. We're at the fronting, so they evidently have a well in there furnishing these two GER camps. With and they got one. a power plant somewhere. Getting in and looking at the cliffs where the some of the first dinosaur bones and eggs were found. After we have lunch, in the we're desert? Going to go over to the dig and see what what we uh, can see. See, 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 what, this see what we can pump see down here. There. Just going to take and put it up into the tubs up above, which will become the shower. Picking a shower. About 10 gallons of water up there. Got a hose that off. That doesn't go very far when you got a whole group of people coming in and flushing that toilet. So he's putting the large cans on the little cart. He'll drag them back down to the well down there and load up and pull it back. Get more water. It's a good job, good for all day. From 1920 to 1925 that they discovered the dinosaur eggs and then a lot of the dinosaur fossils. Right there, you can see the whole dinosaur holes. It is amazing that they came across this desert to this one place and were able to discover it. This is a very peculiar, peculiar tree. They call this a forest. All those roots are up out of the ground. Mr. Andrews discovered the dinosaur bones, and that'll be over on the other side of this knoll that we're on. This is part of the gorge. This is part of the gorge on the other side. Erosion is quite a factor. This is looking down into one of the gullies of the gorge. This is natural or the archaeologist? Dinosaur bones were buried in this sediment that had been probably a very large lake. Well, you got something on the camera. scenery is just spectacular. Amazing scenery. Oh, we only have a few minutes left today. We did things today. We uh, talked to Yellowfellow and Freddy. Well, we're up here on top of that. Did that past gorge. thing. And here is the souvenir shop, which happens to be Looked all at, of the different like, types of here. rocks from around the area, including dinosaur eggs. Oh, you I'll can buy dinosaur eggs? i shot of those. Please. round object, the larger one at the edge of the table is the so-called dinosaur egg. Wow. There are others over there. Looks like a rock. Petrified wood, crystals, everything you can imagine. There are sections over there with small snails. Everything I can imagine. There are dinosaur bones here. Oh, you can see they're still there. They didn't try to remove them with all the bones. That's a bone? That's a thing? That's a 
wide flat bone. What kind of bone is that? Maybe it's a, oh, wrestling. Oh. Sledding? Gotten to her knees, so she's about done for. Sand sledding. They're sinking in quite a ways. to the dunes. Our tour guide likes to wrestle. He's taken on all the drivers but the big one. <laughs> all right, I'm wrestling. I tried not to. I hope you can hold their belts? That seems a little bit unfair, the belts. He's gonna get his nice pants all dirty. They seem pretty, like pretty nice pants. Oh, oh! Is that the tour guide? Tour guide went down. Tour guide fell. He looked like he got We've hurt a little bit. We've been at the airport here in Gobi now. Supposed to have left it. Is that water? 6:30 in the morning. It's now a little after four, and the plane did come in. Oh, your trip's over. But this runway is dirt. And the plane got down to the end of the runway and now it's stuck. <laughs> oh. the people have gotten off and they've going to go down there with some shovels and dig them out. This ought to be. I think that might be the end of it. Seems like a Fit ending uh, at the at, um, at the plane. This is gonna be any more when they go back home. But uh, last time I thought it was over and it wasn't over. But the show was over pretty much. So thanks everybody for watching the show. Thanks for sticking around and then thanks to Yellow Fellow and Freddie. And uh, special thanks to the, this guy. I don't know who the guy is, but he's doing something special. And we have a lot more of his tapes coming up in, in the future too. It's Saturday. TCTV channel 20, 2, 11, 30, and 2 a.m. And on the line. 360-836-4384. Call and leave a message. Get on TV. White HWM, 109 State Avenue, number 3. Check it out. Song, thank you. TCTV, La Bebe, Jordi Fabulous, Graham Graham, Stop Spot of Con, Drum Mobster, Thurston County, Washington State, USA. Thank you. Viewers and listeners, as you're watching, thank you.